우와! 아, 들어와요! 불 들어와요! 아! <웃음> 나 이거 만드느라고 영혼까지 갈아놨다? 감사합니다. 진짜 감사... No. What are you laughing at? Let's roll the intro, shall we? Great day everyone! I'm Earl Dino Villanueva of EveTech YouTube channel Because it's February, which is a love month For today's project, I'm going to recreate the heart lump from the series of Korean dramas I am not a robot I remember back then, I didn't really understand why my classmates were so addicted Korean dramas until I watched I Am Not A Robot. I got interested of watching it because one of my classmates told me it was about robots. It's worth watching, like this video. Going back to the topic, what the heart lump does is when you touch the first lump, the second lump will light up. Whether it's in the Philippines, Korea, or Australia, as long as both lumps are connected to Wi-Fi, they will communicate with each other. How cool is that? And I've got to start somewhere, right? So let's start where the most things do. That's right, the programming. Finally, after hours, days, months, and years of creating this code, I have finally made it. Just kidding. I already wrote this code five years ago after watching I Am Not A Robot. So if you are asking me like, Earl, why did you just finally decide to finish that project after a few years. That is because a few years ago, I didn't have the right people or the right amount of money to finish this project. This is the first prototype of the lamp. By prototype, I mean, this is what's going to be on the final project. I'm not gonna make another one. <laughs> like the heart lamp, as soon as we turn it on, it will first try to connect to the router to get an ethernet access. After getting an internet access, it will first try to connect to the Adafruit server. There are three variables declared on the server. The first is the Critic 1 master, the second is the Critic 2 master, and the third is the Critic brightness value. Value. Yeah, value. As soon as I power it up, it will publish the brightness value to zero to the Adafruit server. And both acrylic lamps 1 and 2 will be in off condition. For instance, if someone touches the first lamp, then it will be acting as a master. And this will be also published on the Adafruit server. Now, acrylic 1 master will change the value to 1. And acrylic 2 master will be at 0. Now, the longer someone touches the lamp, the brighter it will be. The value of the brightness will only be published on the server if you release the finger. The brightness of the acrylic lamp 2 will be adjusted based on the data received from the server. Now, both acrylic lamps are on. They will only turn off or the brightness of both acrylic lamps will go to zero if the second acrylic lamp is touched. How cool is that? You can download this code in the description below. Inside the folder, there are two folders with code. The first folder with the code is for the first acrylic lamp. And the second folder is obviously for the second acrylic lamp. In this code, you need to change some variables according to your MQTT or Adafruit server. You need to change SSID and password and some details like your Adafruit IO username. In my case, my AIO username is Ivtech and also your AIO key. You can find your AIO key by clicking the burger icon. Yeah, I call this burger icon. Anyhow, click this or click that, click that burger icon and click AIO key. And your Adafruit key will pop out. Make sure to copy the key under Arduino. Then paste that into your Arduino code. Next to that is changing this based on your preferred feed name. In my case, I use acrylic underscore brightness, acrylic underscore one underscore master, and acrylic underscore two underscore master. Repeat that process to acrylic lamp to code. 
Now, if you want more detailed tutorial on how to create an Adafruit MQTT server, comment down below and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated. Now that this is already working, I need to find a body where to put this project on. After hours of searching on the internet because I am looking for the exact heart lamp that is used to the film, unfortunately, a lot of websites that I found the item on are currently unavailable. And also, there is none available here in the Philippines. I need to have it as soon as possible before February 14. So I decided to put this project on a customized acrylic lamp. And there you have it. The package arrived. Here it is. Let's open it. There you have it. Been this far before. This could be the defining moment. This could be the defining moment. History will unfold before us. This could be the defining Turn up the light, bro. That's so awesome! Now that I have the case, I am going to open it and analyze the board inside to connect it with the ESP8266. Almost two months have already passed and I have already opened the first base and I'm also done analyzing the board inside. What I'm about to do next is to remove all the unnecessary components from the existing board and connect it with the ESP8266. Next to that is connecting this board to the ESP8266. In the video description below, I will just provide you with a circuit diagram showing how the existing board and the ESP8266 are connected. Before I repeat the same process to the second base, I need to make sure that everything is working properly. As you can remember, if I touch this touch sensor, the longer I hold it, the brighter it will be. The value of the brightness will only be published to the server if I release the finger. After that, the second lamp should also light up. Sheesh. Now that this is already working, I will repeat the process to the second base. I am now also done with the second case. I still need to check it to see if it is working properly.
it is working. Cool! One more thing, I need to upgrade something in the code. As of now, if this project is brought to my friend's house, it will not work because ESP8266 doesn't know the SSID and password of my friend's Wi-Fi router. Definitely, we don't want our crush, our friend, or loved one to hard code the SSID and password into the Arduino for them to use it. I am going to use a Wi-Fi manager. What it does basically is store the last same Wi-Fi SSID and password. And if ever ESP8266 fails to connect to that stored Wi-Fi SSID and password, the ESP8266 will open an access point. Let me first add the lines of code required for the Wi-Fi manager to work. Now, if ever you will give this to your friend, it will automatically open an access point so that they can enter their Wi-Fi details. Let's see one more time if it is working. Sheesh! Okay, let's turn it on. Introducing Effect Smart Lamp. It connects you to someone you really care about. And that's it for today's video. I'm Early Villanueva. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated. And as always, keep learning and have fun. Bye!